The helm console controls the ship. You can adjust the zoom level of the helm's overhead view using the on-screen zoom controls. You can steer in three ways. You can use the rudder control at the bottom of the screen, but you'll have to return this to the center in order to stop turning. You can also double tap the screen within the direction indicator ring. The ship will stop turning as soon as it reaches the point that you tapped. Finally, you can turn using the connected controller. Move the joystick left or right to turn in the corresponding direction. The speed at which you turn can be increased by asking your engineer to increase power to maneuvering. Your speed can be set in several ways. The impulse control slider is used for slow speed movement and maneuvering. And the warp control slider is for faster movement. You will have to return these sliders to their original positions in order to stop. You can also use the joystick to increase or decrease your impulse speed. The bottom row of buttons on the controller can also control your warp from 1 to 4. These buttons work as toggles. You move at warp as long as you are holding the button down, and when you release the button, you will drop to impulse speed. Remember, maximum speed through a nebula is warp 1. You can turn while moving at impulse or at warp. But remember, the slower you are going, the faster you will turn. The top row of buttons can access several more functions. The first button will bring your ship to a full stop, reducing warp and impulse to zero. This is faster than using the joystick to reduce your speed, but it is the same as setting the sliders to zero. The second button will switch your impulse control to reverse. While reverse is activated, increasing impulse will move your ship backwards, and decreasing impulse will bring your ship to a stop. This can also be accessed by tapping the reverse button on screen. Remember, while in reverse, you will be unable to go to warp. So if you find you're unable to move your ship, make sure reverse has been disabled. The third button on the top row of the controller will allow you to dock with stations when you are within 500 meters of them. This can also be accessed on screen by pressing the request dock button. The last button on the top row can enable or disable the shields. This too can be accessed via the shields button on the touch screen. Finally, from the helm console, you can control the information displayed on the main screen.